Hey everybody, John Denise here from JDiz Fishing. Uh, in this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to CPR, catch, photo, and release. Uh, I'm basically, I'm showing you what I do. I'm not saying that what I do is by any means the only way or the best way or the way you should do it. I'm just showing you how I do it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions on, on the CPR or any other videos you'd like to see, be sure and uh, subscribe to the channel for one. And also uh, leave a comment down in the comment section. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, I like to be very interactive on my uh, channel. And I hope to build it that way. Hope you enjoy the video. And we'll talk to you soon. So I'm, uh, with the wind the way it is, uh, instead of fighting the wind, I'm going to come up here upwind. I'm going to fish this point all the way back down. for this month so I might as well measure them up. Now the way I like to do this, these are just a little one so I'll go ahead and uh, show you how we go. Pretty fish too. Post spawn. Uh, right there. They've been eating good. Starting to feed up again. So the first thing I usually do after I catch them is grab my fish grips. I've got them here on a, got them here on a tether. So give them a Lock on that, put them in the water, let them hang out for a little bit. Got my board, identifiers on there already, wet it up. And on the big rig, I kind of lay it down here. So it's got a slight angle going back that way. Get my phone out, which is always the treacherous part. Out of its safety. set up. And what I do is I take a picture between each fish so I know I don't uh, accidentally uh, submit the same picture twice. So go to my camera, take a picture of my empty board. Okay, so we have that. Here we go. Now the little guys are usually pretty feisty. The big ones aren't so bad. So get them all on here. And better view. He's a little, little tense. Hardest part's getting their mouth shut. Uh, he doesn't want to shut his mouth. Come on, buddy. Get down in there. Slide the identifier down so it's in the picture. He looks pretty calm. Looks like we got 13 and 3 quarters. Yeah. Get him relaxed here. Now looks like he's just going to go 13 and a half probably. Yeah. Oh no, there's 13 three quarters right there. So, lay it down. Take one. Take two. And I'll go in and I'll check and make sure it looks good. Yeah, 13 and three quarters. I can see that touching line there. Say goodbye, buddy. Have a good one. And since I'm in the middle of stretch, fishing a stretch of bank here, I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh, Close up my phone, and we'll submit those later after I get off the water. And that's pretty much how you do it. And uh, always best to uh, double check your photos. Like I said, take a couple of them. Uh, if it was a really big fish, I definitely would probably go ahead and uh, maybe put them in the water again, hook them up, review the photos, make sure they were good to go, take any other photos if I, if I had to. But that's how you measure a fish. Uh, and, uh, any questions, just leave some uh, comments down below uh, or questions down in the comments section below. Uh, if you're not already, make sure you're a subscriber and uh, check out the rest of the videos on my channel. And uh, glad you're here watching. Take care. See you later.